Architecture have again reopened the debate about the environment in which we live. His views are linked to the ongoing debate about the spread of development in rural areas, particularly here in the south. That threat has prompted residents in one Hampshire village to put on record all the facts about their part of the world. They've all contributed to this modern doomsday book that will serve as a permanent reminder of life as it exists today. Duncan Kennedy went to meet them. The hamlet of Ibthorpe near Andover. It started out life in the 13th century with the name of Elbtrope. The name and the people have changed, the place has not. That's what's attracted a kaleidoscope of people here down the years. One man has decided to put it all on record in a modern day doomsday book. Bill Coish believes he's taken a snapshot of history. Well, this is a medieval hamlet, really, you know. There's a square lane right there. And uh, it seemed important to my children and myself that we should record this in photographs and in text, uh, the changes that have taken place over the last 50 years, say, or more. Uh, and there it is for people who come in to see. Bill Coish went to every house in the village to conduct his survey. One of the most prominent is this magnificent 18th century residence, Ibthorpe House. Jane Austen stayed here. On leaving, she made a bag for her guests and wrote, And as we are about to part, twill serve another end. For when you look upon this bag, twill recollect your friend. Ibthorpe has progressed since Jane Austen's time. And the book about the village clearly reflects the changing character of its residents. Most notable is the arrival of younger professionals, adept at mixing a rural, quiet lifestyle with being a commuter to big cities. Ernie Mitchell arrived four years ago and travels every day to London. But he doesn't believe his kind of outsider threatens the likes of Idthorpe. The people are very warm, considering we are outsiders coming from Kent, that they have made us very, very welcome. People who have lived here all their lives. Um, we know everybody and it's uh, very friendly, no problems at all. The community is very, very strong. If Ernie Mitchell represents the modern look of Ibthorpe, there are plenty who make up the more established clientele. All are in the book. Among them, Alf Knight, one of the village characters. He recalls the tale about his mother, who'd been storing two pheasants for a local doctor. Well, after about a week, my Mother went and had a look at them, and they were all riddled with, with uh, maggots. So they decided they would not never want them, so they took them and put them in the bottom of the garden where they emptied all the outdoor closets and uh, ashes and everything, put them all in there and buried them in. Two days afterwards, well, this gentleman decided he needed them for his dinner at night because he had some company coming. Well, they went and got them out, and they got the feathers off the best they could and cooked them. And uh, they really relish, relish them, you know. Anecdotes like that epitomise Ibthorpe, an idyllic slice of English country life, and a slice encapsulated by Bill Coish, who feels passionately it's worth preserving. For people to enjoy the surroundings and living in a quiet place where they can talk to their neighbour over the fence. Well now, we've long had a reputation in this country for our boffins and inventors.